Hey, Don here. Okay, Fi finally fixed the open camera just by uninstalling it and reinstalling it. I don't know what was wrong, but every time I tried to make a video, it was crashing. This was after I had uh, taken out my SD card, uh, and that's where I saved my videos. And that's where the app's installed, too. And uh, I had taken it out, copied all my videos off, and then put it back in the phone and I made sure I didn't do any changes to the SD card I didn't add or delete any files while it was out but it still did that and I did that on two of these Alcatel A45L phones and one of them's just fine and this one for some reason crapped out I don't know if any I haven't opened all the apps I got too many to fool with all at once but it take too long but this is the only one <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it's the app I use actually the most Make, I like to make little videos with these phones, and uh, so that's the first thing I noticed. So hopefully I won't have any other trouble. I tried. Look, I looked at all the file permissions first, and they looked the same in, as the uh, in the uh, it's in it's a DCIM open camera folder, and it looked the same as all the other folders uh, nearby. So, or that were similar type of folders. I couldn't. I didn't quickly see a way to do that in uh, the cam in the phone tried Total Commander, I have that on there, but I just plugged it into the USB to my Fedora Linux system. Oh, it went to sleep. And uh, I'll just wake it back up and show what I'm talking about here. I um, I don't have it plugged into the USB right now, but I plug it into the USB cable and into my computer, and then I can just open it up and that's my backup. And so. Uh, what I'll do is in Fedora 23 it'll show up in uh, file run user 1000 GVSF it may be a different GVFS it may be a different number there it, I'll, it's a hard time finding it actually for me it's a weird place uh, I actually found it by when it's mounted it'll show up on my desktop and I'd open it up in the I don't like the the regular old Windows Explorer top file uh, file explorer so I use uh, Crusader Twin Panel. Anyway, I right-clicked on it. Uh, this this type of uh, file explorer here. Well, I'm not going to do that. That's a network drive. Uh, desktop is be where it would be. And of course, I won't see. Oh, I've got it set to go to to automatically go to Crusader. I forgot about that. Okay, so anyway. Uh, you'd right click I forgot what I was trying to show about it okay so anyway over here in Crusader there's the DCIM folder open camera this is a backup and uh, so I c what you can do is right click and go to permissions and uh, we'll see these are all can be viewed and changed now what it was it, on the camera via USB over here I had it on the left side it can be you know owner can view and modify the rest was forbidden but so were the other folders so uh, that's kind of odd isn't it I just never realized that that's not uh, yeah for it said forbidden usually it'll say read on group and then others for forbidden or read one or the other depending on how you the system sets it up or you've set it up but anyway that's the way it was and uh, I even tried changing the permissions and of course it wouldn't let me uh, remotely like that. So uh, that would be a security issue if it did. So, um, and the other, when you mounted it and you know it shows up on the desktop in this in this system, uh, if you if you go into the normal file, so I think that, okay, I like this one here. Let's say you were in, well these are all the other drives, so you would open up a drive, the, and uh, I'll go to file system and you go to your where it is which is of course it's not in there right now and uh, anyway you could right click but uh, in the regular file explorer here it said uh, could not figure out the permissions so uh, that's the other thing another reason why I like uh, uh, Crusader does a lot more so I'm trying to hold still and keep 
the thing in the frame while I'm working on the computer. I know it's a goofy way to do it. I was not planning on making a long video, but uh, anyway, maybe this will help me remember if I run into more problems later. I, li I like having all those different desktops I can switch to real quick and easy. Okay, so quickest way to fix uh, open camera or a broken app, probably other broken apps and Android. I'm new to Android actually, believe it or not. I've been on Linux. I've been running Linux since 2005, and but I haven't had a phone, smart any kind of phone, any kind of mobile phone since 2000. So. Uh, Android is, you know, based on Linux, so it's very similar. It's easy, easy to get into if you're already into Linux. So, uh, but it's kind of like, well, you usually don't have to do that. And I have had done that a few times in Linux over the years, but mostly Windows is where if an app's broken, it's hard to fix, and you can just usually a lot of times you can uninstall and reinstall. So I thought, what the heck, try it. A lot of things in Android is sort of a weird mix of the way Windows is set up and the way uh, Linux is set up. Well, actually, the Windows part, what I would say, the way it's with all the uh, freeware type, adware type stuff. I'm not I have to deal with that in Linux. Uh, it's all open source and doesn't have ads and it doesn't have crapware in it. Doesn't have uh, viruses in it. You know, I mean, very seldom. So um, anyway. There's a picture of a mom's flower. Okay, bye-bye.